Yes, lads, welcome back to another training video. So what we've been up to, we haven't been up to really a lot. Uh, no video yesterday. I spent the time with a girlfriend yesterday, so uh, apologies for that. I haven't really been on trading. I come on last night and made a few moves um, just to see where the market would be. And actually, it's paid off all right. Um, we sold our Ramos for 253. We actually got for 222, so that's a nice bit of profit there. Um, sold two now. This is I used him in Weekend League. I ain't going to show his stats. He is all right. He's quite good. Um, yeah, I mean, he's definitely worth the coins. We bought a bunch of Griezmanns last night. Now we got one for fifty k. Um, we got a few. So we got these one, these two here for sixty k. Uh, we got that one for sixty k as well. And then we've got, I think we've got one of these cheap ones for fifty, and then fifty seven and fifty eight. So a nice bit of profit if if you can take all of them. In you know, with I think we've probably made what. Like 14 or 15k, and all of them Griezmann's there. Not nice. And then Henderson, we went uh, big on last night. I was gonna get more, but the thing is, Henderson's good to do because even if you get it wrong, you're not gonna shit out on a lot of coins because there's not a lot of tax to go into it. Um, but we did buy him for anywhere from 11.5, which we sold him straight away last night for 12.750, which again is not the best. It's like 500 and something coins profit, I think. Um, and the what, and then we started selling the ones for, um, and then we started picking them up for like ten k and ten seven fifty, and then we started selling them this morning because we f we flipped a few tonight and then we flipped a few when we woke up, and as you can see they're actually starting to sell, or well, they have actually sold a set from one here which I bought for ten seven fifty, he's up for eleven minutes. Uh, and what else? Is there anything at the back of the transfer list? Nope. I've still got like Marco Asensio's and things like that. I don't know what to do with them. Um, I might just wait for an SBC to pop up and see if they do rise a little bit. They probably won't, as you can see here. Look, they're still dirt cheap. But um, yeah, we're you know we'll see what happens with um with all these cards I, I don't really know um okay so we're gonna get on with some sniping uh gonna, the market's not that busy so uh the players that i show you are probably going to be uh, a lot effective in peak time you know when the market is a lot busier there's still um some sell-off going on so foot chance are still open today there will be a lot of sell-off so be careful with that um when i wouldn't hold cards at this moment in time i would just flip them within the hour or two if you having them um right let's have a look then so let's jump into trading okay that's nice. the first card is alfonso davis now he's 32 750 uh, there'll be a little bit of a sell-off i can imagine with him today um all like squad battles being open people coming on and opening them now he goes for 32 5 so you need him for about 30k uh on a snipe or a bid but you need to that would be 800 coins profit if you get him for about 30k now, why you say getting for 30 k you want to make it worth it, right? You don't want to be like three, four hundred coins a card. They should pop up as well. They do pop up a lot. See if we can get one here live. Here we go. And there you go. 28,500. 28, Happy days with that. Again, we can go. That's going to be. Get them 28. Um, 2,000. 700 or something coins profit something like that i'm not really yeah i'm not really sure it's something like that um there you go and it's just as easy as that right here we go okay happy days of that that's gonna be another 800 coins profit so the next player i've just gone and checked his price uh is Jaden sancho now this can be a hard one right let's say he's going for about 20 was he 21750 let's say there's one up for 22 and he's not selling uh which you need him for about twenty thousand to make about 600 coins a card now 600 coins a card if you're flipping straight away is not bad right and here i can see him popping up for 20k okay that's why sancho is good right forward hunter on him and 19k now i think that's a sell-off right that's a bit of a panic if he looks properly he could have probably got 20 22 23 for him quite easily so he is about 21 750 right 20k Happy days, right? So that's going to give us 663 coins profit. Uh, happy days. Okay, we have picked up another one uh, for 20,000. Now, 
I'm going to go and check his price before I put him up because there's a chance that he goes down, there's a chance that he goes up. Uh, the other one hasn't sold. Don't think uh, he's sold. 21. Okay, that's a good sign that he's not 21, 10, 50 now. You could probably put him up for 22, which I'm going to do. Uh, because he is going to sell for 22. So that's going to give me 900 coins a card, um, which is not bad. I'm going to go ahead and do that and put him up. And then what I will do is I will bring you back. We moved on from Sancho just for the video purposes. And I wouldn't actually find uh, any. I was doing it for like a minute or so. Um, one didn't pop up. So yeah, as I said, the market, as we can see here, is not that busy. 1.8 on the thingy. That's not really, I mean, busy is like over 2k, uh, over 2 mil, sorry. Uh, it's not bad for uh, Xbox, this kind of market. But yeah, anyway, we've moved on to a mobility now. About 18k. You can. That one's worth a hunt. I don't think that's any. So if you're selling for eighteen thousand, you need them for seventeen thousand one hundred, right? For profit. Now, I've gone ahead and bidded on a few. Now I've bidded on. I we'll take that one. Uh, that's gonna be. What are we get them for. Sorry. Three hundred and fifty coins profit. That's gonna be. He's got a position change, so he could be a little bit more expensive. But we're gonna go ahead and put him up for eighteen. Uh, what this is good is you can bid kind of like, you know, 16 to 17 kind of K and you won't get outbidded. Uh, we did get outbidded there, but as you can see, that's a nice bit of profit on him there. We're still watching that Jaden there. I don't know why. Uh, so you want to be looking at about... He is actually going down a bit and he's not getting sold, but 18K kind of looks like, you know, where you could probably get your max. Yeah, 18K looks all right. Um... You probably want to go like 16, 750 or lower. Don't go higher than that. 17k is only going to give you 100 coins profit. Not worth it at all. I mean, you would have to sell thousands of them to even see a profit. But let's have a look then. Um, okay, so we're looking at Alaba. Because uh, Alaba is always a good one to, tra to trade with. Um, it's about, I would probably say 19.5. So we picked one up with a shadow for 18.5. I've just gone out on a limb and bought it just in case and uh, we can sell it for a bit of profit. <clears throat> and I did look at one on a bid here, so we went for 18.5 on a bid there. So that's even nice if you're selling them for like let's say 19.5. Um well actually it's not. Uh it's like 975 coins profit, so no, it's actually not good. Need them for about 18, I'd say about 18. Um 19250 there. Gonna have a look how much he is with a shadow one. Now we need him for about what 20k of a shadow, and we should be good. Yeah, so you're looking at about 20k with a shadow. That's gonna give us like 500 coins profit on him. Not the best, but it's still a little bit of profit. That's probably one little method you can use as well. Put it down to like 18k or something with a shadow one and try and snipe him for that. Uh he, he would obviously pop up, he did there, or even 18.5, you're still gonna make a nice bit of coins on it, and it's gonna pick your you know your transfer profit up a lot. 19, alright, 1750, yeah, and that one's 19, so, he does pop up quite a lot, I haven't even searched for him, I've searched for him like, well, not even a minute, all in, uh, and we're still getting him for this, so I need to actually know his price. Alright, so, we're looking at Banana Silver, it's about 17750, I want to say, because 17250 with a hunter on, 17750. He's about, I reckon you could sell this card for 17,750. Yeah, you can. So you need him for 16,8 for a profit. Uh, under 16,8, sorry. So 16,5. You'll probably snipe one for, or you can go ahead and bid. Now, I did go ahead and bid on one. I did get him for 16K. Uh, so I can go ahead and put that up. I'll show you that now. Um, so someone did. Yeah, someone was going around and bidding 16,750 on them all, which. Um, it's like a hundred and something. Now, I don't get that because he's got to be making minimum coins unless, you know, he's expecting the card to go up, which the card will go up in it will go up over time. But yeah, I can't see him going up that much, uh, you know, anytime soon. Uh, well, depending on when they drop some big SPCs, but 17,750 there is going to give us another 863 coins profit. Okay, one card I do like is Carver Howe now. He is going for about 13750 which once you take tax out of it, you need him for about, what, under 13k, so about 
12, 7, 15. Now, what I like Carvajal is he, may, he does pop up on snipes of quite a bit, but if, you, if he doesn't pop up on snipes, and then there's always that chance of you can bid on him, and there's so many uh, that you can bid on. So as you can see here, I've bidded 12. I've went ahead and bidded on a few. Now, whether you get them or not, it's completely different. But we didn't get that one, right? This one's got a shadow. All right, we didn't get that one either. Uh, looks like we're not going to get that one. Obviously, the market isn't that busy for us. But as you can see here, we might be able to get this one, which then will give us 500 coins profit. Might be able to get this one as well. That would be 1,000 coins on just them two there. Uh, no, we actually got outbidded, so that's a shame on that. But here's another good card to do because people do overlook this card um, hell of a lot. We've got that 12, 7, 50 and try and snipe one. I don't think we will because it's just the market's just not busy. Uh... A few pop up for 13k, but you need him. You could probably sell him for 14. Uh, yeah, maybe if you you know if you you're a bit patient, uh, and you probably could, and then probably get him for 13s. But uh, and that's got a shadow on, so that's actually quite nice. We'll go and see his price on a shadow. About 14k of a shadow on, so that's not bad. So even if you wanted to go like 13k. Uh, or even like tw you know try and get one for that that won't be bad either yeah we're going ahead and put them up for 14k now everything with a shadow and a hunter obviously is a bit more you guys will obviously know that don't deal with this a minute um 14k which will give us i'll tell you exactly that will give us 550 coins profit is all right for a little flip and i couldn't everyone has sold that we picked up um i've left all these the griezmann's and that in just because i was flipping them today that just being in the thumbnail apologies for that everyone we picked up actually did sell um within half an hour we, we didn't even trade for longer than half an hour which was all right um not massive profits but obviously i had to keep um i had to keep pausing and bringing you back and i wanted to do it within less than an hour I haven't got that much time. Time I've rendered this and everything, uh, and then I'd have to get ready and I'll be off to work. But yeah, so we could have made a lot more. We made, we did sell Henderson, which we got about 12k and was on 61. Whereas we got about six, I think about 60, we got about 63 back, uh, 73. So we made uh, 10k in half an hour, which is not bad. So it'd be about 20k an hour. I didn't see everyone sold. Um, yeah, it was was quite easy. Obviously, I could I could have probably made like up to like I don't know thirty to forty k an hour, but I had to keep stopping recording and everything like that. So for you guys, just try these players out. Um, Henderson's a really good one. I know I didn't trade with him in this video. I think I did last video, but he's really good to do. Um, Alaba's good to do as well. He gets underlooked all the time. And um, Alfonso Davis. If you're gonna trade with this card, you know be careful because his price is gonna be all over the shop. Where you had squad battles out, he may rise a little bit. But Thursday, I can imagine this card again going down. But I think he would go down uh, up a little bit Friday, depending on, on what price you're getting for Thursday. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. If this helped you in any way, subscribe, like the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.